In this video, we'll work through two examples applying the method of integration by parts. One will be an indefinite integral, and the second will be a definite integral. Consider the integral e to the x sine x dx. Since this is an integral of the product of two functions, we can apply our new method. Let's suppose that u is equal to e to the x and dv is sine of x dx. With these choices, du dx is then e to the x, which tells us that du is equal to e to the x dx. Also, with this definition of dv, v is then equal to negative cosine of x. So using our technique, this is equal to u times v, which is negative e to the x cosine x, minus the integral of negative e to the x cosine of x dx. Cleaning this up, we have negative e to the x cosine of x plus the integral of e to the x cosine of x dx. This seemingly looks like we're in the same spot as we were at the beginning. However, let's proceed by applying the method again, this time on the integral of e to the x cosine of x dx. Suppose in this case, we're going to let u equal e to the x, and dv will be cosine of x dx. du would then be e to the x dx, and v would be sine of x. This then gives us that this entire integral is equal to negative e to the x cosine of x plus e to the x times sine of x minus the integral of sine of x times e to the x dx. Now what we see here is this integral right here is identical to the one that we began at the, at the beginning of the problem. Well, in that case, they're like terms. If I can add this integral to both sides of the equation, I then get two of these integrals of e to the x sine of x. Again, because this integral is identical to the original, I'm adding it to both sides of the equation, leaving me with two of them on the left equals negative e to the x cosine of x plus e to the x sine of x. And in order to ultimately solve for our original integral, we divide both sides by 2, leaving me with the integral of e to the x sine of x dx equals negative 1 half e to the x cosine of x plus 1 half e to the x sine of x and we want to compensate for this 
indefinite integral by adding our constant c. And of course, remember that you can check your result by differentiating. Also, pause this video and use a different definition of u and dv than was used in this video to see if you obtain the same result. Let's consider the integral now from 0 to pi of x sine of 2x dx. I'm going to let u equal x, dv equal sine of 2x dx. With this choice, du is equal to dx, and v is equal to negative 1 half cosine of 2x. Using integration by parts, we see that u times v is negative 1 half x cosine of 2x. We're going to evaluate that from 0 to pi minus the integral from 0 to pi of v du. That gives me negative 1 half cosine of 2x dx. I have a minus a negative here, which then gives me plus. So we have this integral shown here. We can evaluate this integral that is one fourth sine of two x evaluated from zero to pi. And we have this first antiderivative evaluated from zero to pi. This gives us negative one-half pi cosine of two pi minus negative one-half times zero cosine of zero plus one-fourth sine of two pi minus one-fourth sine of zero. We know that both of these terms are equal to zero, as is this one. So we evaluate, we have negative one-half pi times cosine of two pi, which is one. So our final result is negative pi over two. We'll further expand our toolbox of techniques of integration in the lessons to follow.